Hello everyone, welcome and thanks for joining us for the latest news and the latest updates wherever you are. And while you're tuning in from, we are very grateful. But kindly don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button for more of these updates. All my children forgot me, Nubian Lee cries out. Uh, once again, thanks for joining us, but let's take more look into some of these details. Musician Nubian Lee was released from Kitalia prison on Monday. He immediately reunited with his family while discussing the experience after testing freedom. He narrated that his children couldn't recognize him. They are afraid to speak to him. They keep running away. He has to continuously explain to his youngest daughter and son that he is back for good. Uh, he continued saying that my children couldn't recognize me. They are afraid to look at me. They are, say, they are seeing me as a stranger and I have been in darkness for six months, as he explained during an interview. Nubian Lee was released, I mean he was arrested in December last year in Kalangala and charged with possession of ammunition. Uh, not only that, uh, Nubian Lee was also unrecognizable right after he lost his signature hairstyle of shaggy dreads and Nubian Lee was probably forced to cut off his dreads while in Kitalia prison where he has been detained for so many months that's equal to six months. He appeared before court martial and he was seen without his usual haircut and he surprised most of his fans and supporters cause of his new look and the way how he changed, he was really looking so different. Uh, the singer, however, looked strong and said who he would overcome when he was asked how he is faring in the dungeon. As I said, Nubian Lee, is being, uh, Nubian Lee was, was detained on charges of allegedly possessing military ammunition. Uh, that was after the general court martial in March in the released on bail. The supporters of the national unit platform, including Eddie Mutwe and Nubian Lee and the rest, and they released where the remaining supporters and the close members of the national unit, unit president, Robert Chagulain Centum, also known as Bobby Wine's team that was arrested in Kalangala in December 2020. In a statement released, National Unit Platform confirmed that all their members, all their members who were arrested in Kalangala were released. So the General Court Masha Chairperson, Lieutenant General Andrew Aguti, said that the court listened to submissions from both the applicant and respondents before coming up with a, de with a decision to release them. This court has, deliberate, uh, has deliberated on this application and rules as follows. Applicants have spent long on remand. In the result, this court finds merit in the application and hereby grants bail to the applicants, uh, said by Lieutenant General Aguti. Uh, in his ruling, the Army Court boss, however, set the tough limits for their bail, saying that the group should not move beyond Wakiso and Kampala district without first seeking permission from the court. Uh, each of the released members were also asked to pay 20 million shillings non-cash. Uh, the court also asked each of the released members to keep reporting to court twice a month after every two weeks. So Lieutenant General Guti said that this should also report, this should also report his court as and when required. Their sureties were also bonded with a 50 million shillings non-cash each. A uh, breach of any of the above terms would lead to automatic cancellation of their bail and they will return back to jail, uh, Lieutenant General Guti ruled. So after Nubian Lee coming out of the bail, he went direct to his home, reunited with his family, but unfortunately, his children couldn't recognize him. He tried so hard to explain to his young daughter and the son, but still they see him as a stranger. Though it has been coming out from different people, different fans of uh, different supporters of National Unity Platform, they were very surprised to see how Nubian Lee has really changed. The change comes after his 
dread the shaggy dread was cut off from his head uh, where he was forced to cut it in Kitaya prison so that brought in a lot of changes and he has been in the dungeon in the darkness for over six months where everything changed and the kids couldn't recognize him so right now he's trying to work so hard and he's continuously trying to explain to his children that he is the one and he will never go back and will never leave them alone well that is it for now we will keep on updating with more of this thanks for watching but kindly don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button for more of these updates